I'm not saying where I'm at just yet. But, uh... Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm live for safety, I'll put it that way. Say, uh, some kind of super secret government installation out here. Doing a bunch of construction to uh, expand. Yeah, you guys stay with me for safety. Um, there have been there have been some people that have visited this place before, and the uh, the results have been mixed. Sometimes they're very aggressive. Sometimes they ignore them. So uh, I'm by myself, unfortunately. So I, I just figured the best thing to do was, uh, for safety's sake, go live. Let you guys just watch and see what happens. Hey, Kurt, how you doing? Ramona from Milan County. Just hit refresh, Panama. Yeah, my Panama Jack hat. Hey, it's, it's you know, when you got the sun shining, you got to do what you can do to keep cool. And uh, today it's kind of hit and miss with the sunshine. It's, um, Pretty, if you can see in the background, it's pretty overcast. It's been raining on me, but uh, I got a break in the weather now. So I uh, thought I'd get out here and give these folks a visit. They're doing a major expansion on this place. And uh, nobody's been out here to visit since they began the expansion. So I thought I'd come out here and take a walk. While it's cool enough to actually do it. Hold on, I'll get you some pictures here in a second. I can find one of these signs. Restricted government property. Huh. See, I'll get a shot of this over here. Hold on. All right, I'm going to flip you all around. Hold up, hold up. There we go. Look at the size of that power plant they got here. Y'all can see that real good or not. But it's, uh, it's huge. And getting bigger they're adding on to that as well I look extremely suspicious you're calling on me <laughs> I don't look suspicious come on everybody well not every yard man in Texas wears these kind of hats I mean there's, there's a reason for the hat honestly So, like I said, I'll, I'll flip this around in a minute so y'all can see where I'm at. Um, I just need to get up the road here a little bit before I do that. I don't want to tip my hand just yet because there will be people that start calling and warning them. So, get away! Get away! It's David! He'll make you look bad. You know, and the problem isn't that I make them look bad. They make themselves look bad. I'm just the guy with the camera that shows it. You know? If you don't want to be made to look bad don't act bad pretty simple and I've come up with a mic system for when I'm using my gimbal I've come up with a mic system for it but uh, I'm waiting on one piece to come before I can start using it so you may get some wind noise here uh, there's not a lot I can do about it at this point okay, let me see if I can see these comments the hat makes me look bad. <laughs> like to see your ID, sir. What? <laughs> yeah. See a group of people out here. Oh, and wouldn't you know it? Some of them are wearing military uniforms. It's 
So I'm sure those contractors have, uh, that you saw going in and out of that gate a minute ago, have alerted them that I'm around. Oh, I see these, these, they have a smoking area. Oh, there goes SAPD. There goes the police. Already passing me up. going to be a long walk too so they are expanding this place um basically it's doubling in size and they are not going to want people out here taking pictures i know Okay, all right, so I got a cop that's set up and watching me right now. He's off to my left here. I, I think this is... Uh, yeah, let me see if I can get a shot. Right down there at the end of the street. Unzoom. There we go. Yes. All right. So I got one watching me. I've alerted a couple people, you know, where I am and stuff. But basically, you know, there have been people that have visited this this place before. Like I said, with mixed results, and. Honestly, that they shouldn't be messing with anybody. They should just leave you alone because you can't see anything from out here. This is my first time to come and visit here, but there's there's nothing to see. Honestly, it's a, a parking lot and some buildings. And I'm I, like I said, I'll I'll flip this around and let y'all see in a minute. Um, I'm just trying to to keep my location down for a second. Hello from Baytown. Hey, Travis. The hat is a felony. <laughs> hey, Port Angeles. How you doing? That hat. You know, it, as I've gotten older, I've become less and less tolerant of the heat. And so I've got to do what I can to, to stay cool um, and just try to beat the heat any way I can. And what I do, or what I did, was I took a look around at like the gardeners and the people that work outside and doing construction and whatnot to see what they do. And uh, they have these synthetic shirts that they wear, which this isn't one, this is cotton. But uh, I do have a couple of those synthetic shirts. I just don't have one with me. Um, and they, they use these big brim hats to give themselves shade. So, you know, I, I took my cues from them. Let's, I mean, look at what the professionals are doing. Look at what the professionals use as far as equipment. And, uh, you, you know, you, you can't go wrong. Yes, it's called getting old. Don't remind me. <laughs> Look at all the gray. Look at all the gray in the goatee. All right, for those of you just, just joining, we are... Uh, oh, somebody shot me some super chat. Thank you. We are... I'm at an undisclosed location that I'll be disclosing shortly. Um, and uh, it, it's, it's high security, and they use police here to give people a hard time for, for photography. I, uh, I've not been here before, but some other people have, and we've had mixed results. By and large, the results have not been good. I just happened to be in the area today and uh, thought I'd come check it out because I, I read an article online where they were talking about how this uh, location is basically doubling in size. So they have a bunch of, of uh, new construction here. And uh, yeah, when they say they're doubling in size, I think that's an understatement. 
because it is uh, quite a bit of construction. I don't know if I'm going to be able to walk that far. It's like, uh, man, I don't know, another mile to where the construction is. They, they take up that much space. I mean, this has got, this place is probably one mile by one mile by one mile, if not more, if not more than that. I have to clock it or go look it up on the map and see. But uh, it's 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 pretty large location. As I get around to uh, by the uh, gate and stuff, I'll uh, flip this around. You guys will be able to actually see what's going on. I've already got two cops on me. One is parked back there. I've got another one that's roving in front of me, uh, keeping an eye on me. But they they have not made contact as of yet I, I suspect they're trying to see if i'm just like walking somewhere down one side doing like a video vlog or if i'm actually here for the facility so when i turn this corner and head down this next sidewalk they're going to know that i am actually here for the facility and that may that may be what triggers what triggers uh, the stupidity and unfortunately, I'm going to be on a busier road, which is going to be more noise now. But this is public sidewalk, public street. And uh, these people that have their little super secret location should just get over it. You know, the government, our government seems to think they own the world, and they don't. They don't get to reign over us like we're, like we're slaves or something. That's, that's really what it's getting to be like. And if the rain kicks back in now, I'm gonna be in trouble. Because <laughs> I got a long run back to uh, back to the wheels. Let me see here, and I'll correct I'll correct the name of this uh, this live stream after the fact. We'll get it. Uh, we'll get it. The correct location input. Oh, there's more super chat. Thank you guys. Hey, there's lunch. <laughs> Somebody got me lunch. Oh, dang, 700 people in the live stream. It's going to be good. Okay, let's see if this is a security vehicle or just a regular one. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Somebody's driving a, no, nah, it's just a regular car. You know, people are driving around in white explorers. It's hard to, it's hard to tell till they get up close if they're the police or not. Couple hundred more yards, and we're uh, we'll be at the front gate. So just bear with me for a minute. And uh, I will probably go ahead and walk that little bit of extra to the construction area. I mean, it's not like I don't need the exercise. I can see the see the main gate now and it appears there is a policeman parked at the main gate I'll give you guys a formal introduction here in just a minute Tell you, this place is so bad the people that mow the grass have to undergo security checks but they have a visitor center so that's something
bus stops right by it. But of course, you know, these uh, uh, government employees, do you think that they take public transportation to get to work, to cut down on pollution and traffic and all of that? No. Self-entitled government workers would never, ever ride public transportation. That's for the, the common drones. Not the government employees, you know, the government elite. And there goes another cop in that Tahoe. I don't think he's here for me. I think he just happens to be passing by. All right. Bear with me for 40 more yards. We're almost to the gate. And there are cameras. I'll show y'all here in a minute. There are cameras everywhere for this super secret location that most everybody knows about. I know the, the Russians all know it's here. The Chinese know it's here. So, I mean, what's, what's there to hide? Everything they need to keep secrets on the inside, not out here. So, I don't know why they bother people walking around with cameras. <sighs> okay, all right. I'm going to flip the camera around. Wait. Got some kids coming by on a bicycle. Make sure they don't run me down. Let me cross this here, get to this other sidewalk, and then I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys what's up. Got a SAPD. I'm gonna flip it around here, hold on. There we go. So what we have here, That's the San Antonio Police Department right there. Oh, well, thank you for the super chat. And this is the National Security Agency in San Antonio, Texas. There were a couple more uh, SAPD cars here earlier. They're, I guess they're the ones that are following me station back yonder. Look at all those water jugs. This is supposed to be the guest entrance. This is, uh, and you'll see all the, uh, oh, here comes a, what appears to be security vehicle. Thank you, Port Angeles. It's a black Dodge Durango with uh, emergency lights on it. And he turned his emergency lights on. So he's, he's coming to bug me. <sighs> Howdy. I'm doing all right. So, what are you doing? COVID. I'm walking down the street doing a vlog. So, when they think about it, you are allowed to walk down the street and record. It's just the only thing about it is you're not allowed to be core facility. That's the only thing. So you can record anything on that side, but it's just our facility. We don't allow nobody to record it. That's all. Okay. So. And what kind of police are you? Uh, this is NASA Security Agency. Yeah, your, your badge says police officer on it. What? NASA Security Agency. They have their own police department? Yes, That's crazy. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm walking down a public sidewalk. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Okay. You, you have to write for that and all that. But it, it was just that we have some people calling about somebody recording the facility, that's all. So I'll just tell no. you. No. I'm, I wasn't recording the facility until I just got up here and I saw the San Antonio PD unit. I filmed yeah. him or videoed him. I don't know what he's filming. Yeah, he's on. He's on uh, I, I, know what he is. I 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 know what this place is and yeah. I know what you are and I know what I can and can't do. And I can walk down this sidewalk and I can take pictures of anything I can see from the sidewalk. So, there you have it. Yeah, so, we just, we just actually got to be going on there. You, you, 
can ask, and I'm, I haven't stopped. The only reason I stopped because oh, you stopped I, me. Oh, I know. I'm just asking. I'm, I'm just asking. You know, some you know, some people might tell me I just asked. You know, you have all the right to be right here. You know, yeah. and, I, and, and I'm well aware of that. And what I'm here for is that they. I read an article online about the expansion of the facility, and I'm just doing a walking vlog where I talk to people online and tell them, you know, how I feel about that and and uh, what's going on in the country. But by the way, I'm not armed. I don't have any weapons on me, not even a pocket knife. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I don't want to freak any of you out. I don't want anybody freaking me out. Yes, sir. All right? Yes, sir. So I just can go on about my business. You know, like I said, I'm not here to harm anybody, not here to get any national security stuff. I'm just walking and vlogging. So that's it. Okay. All right? Yes, sir. All right, yeah, what was your name? Uh, I'm just to my six. Oh, you just use badge numbers and that's it? Yes, sir. Okay, that's fine. You can call me David. David, yes. Sir. It's, recording. it's recording the whole time. It runs, it's live, so it can uh, run, run the whole time, but I didn't point it at you. So, yes, yeah, sir. Playing, as long as you're standing behind me, we're going to get you. Yes, sir. All right? All right, be safe. the San Antonio Police Department going back to work so the NSA has its own police department I actually didn't know that so that's kind of interesting but it's and I just had this conversation with somebody a couple of days ago you know about you gonna let me go all right thank you thank you y'all be safe I just had this conversation with somebody the other day about how all these agencies have their own police departments hold on wait till this traffic clears all right you know the fbi has its own police department the secret service has its own uniform police department capitol police own police department you know this is all stuff that could be addressed differently you know uh, everybody wants to have their little their little uh, I don't know uh, uh, personal Nazis and and, and, I'm, and I'm using that term loosely because not all of those um, police departments behave that way some of them some of them understand their limitations and, and all of that and they act accordingly but there are others that don't there are others that just are you know, outright tyrants and uh, you know a good example is the FBI police you've seen my videos there at the J Edgar Hoover building where they you know grab my camera and and there's no accountability they wouldn't give a badge number or a name to identify him to make a complaint with and that's that's unacceptable that is all that should always be unacceptable okay so now i'm in the new construction zone everything to my right you can't see because they got black stuff on the fence but everything to my right is expansion now what they're going to do the san antonio fusion center um the state is using that as an example for expansion of the fusion center systems and uh, it, you know they're you talk about tyrants and liars you know the, one of their mandates is that they are not permitted to monitor and this is in the rules that govern them and what they do they're not they're not allowed to monitor political activists it's very specifically laid out in their uh, in their operational instructions and yet if you if you believe in police accountability if you're a first amendment activist um or, or even a second amendment activist that's exactly what they do they monitor you they issue bulletins that are filled with incorrect information that can get you hurt um, they will label you a sovereign citizen and the reason they do that is because then you're considered a terrorist and then they can they can legitimately monitor monitor you and and what you're doing 
They are looking to see if they were following me, and they actually aren't. I'm surprised. I really expected SAPD to come be stupid, but uh, they're not. And, and that guy kind of tried to buffalo me a little bit. You know, when he realized I knew the law and knew my rights, you know, he backed off real quick. But that whole thing of, oh, you can't record our facility. Uh, you are wrong, sir. You are absolutely wrong. If I can see it from the public roadway, if I can see it from a public sidewalk, I can film it. You guys, you know, it's, it's all super secret as this NSA facility is. There's another facility that's even more super secret. It's called Area 51 in Nevada. And people have been taking pictures from a distance using, you know, high powered uh, lenses and cameras and stuff. People have been taking pictures of that place forever since it was figured out that it was there. And the government is helpless to stop them because they take the pictures from public property. So it really is that simple. If it's public property and you can see something, you can photograph it. I'll give you guys a, just a quick view here. This will probably upset them, but I'm not real worried about it. Oh, there it is. This is the National Security Agency in San Antonio, Texas. Spin this around. I'm gonna walk down here a little further. Let me see, which way should I go? Um, I'm more than 100 feet from an intersection. So I could cross if I want. And I'm sure that they're, I'm sure they've got people following me. I'm just not, not so concerned about it that I'm paying real close attention. Because again, I'm not doing anything wrong. All righty, we're going to head back now. Head back because I'm, uh, I'm going to get on the road. Get on the road, get back to Houston today. I, uh, I've been traveling for uh, about a week now. And uh, I've made sure not to go live or anything to give up my locations. And uh, it's, been, it's been, uh, been very interesting. Got to work with a, a new guy that's doing really good work. Oh, you know what? I have never been to the FBI building here in San Antonio. Wonder if I should pop over there real quick. It's not very far away. Huh. Let me think on that for a minute. See how many people. Sorry, guys, I got my glasses on and I'm having to hold the camera up close to my mic, so, up close to my face so you can hear me. So I can't see the comments. Let me see what we got here. FBI loves it. Oh, well, that sounds like you guys are voting for me to stop and visit with the FBI. Well, man, how can I say no to you guys? Now I wish I hadn't said it out loud because <laughs> they're gonna know I'm coming. There's probably a hundred people inside this NSA facility watching me right now. I'm surprised they don't have a, uh... hold on a second. I'm surprised they don't have uh, jammers out here to jam cell phone reception and block people from being out here, you know, live streaming and stuff. But uh, again, guys, this is the National Security Agency in San Antonio, Texas. And uh, they are doing a massive, massive expansion of the facility. All, everywhere you see this black fencing, that entire area is, uh, is being expanded. And they will be using the tyrannical Homeland Security Fusion Center, Homeland Security funded Fusion Center to uh, expand their monitoring of uh, political activists which their own regulations prohibit them from doing. Uh-oh, two San Antonio police cars. He waved at me. Let's see if he comes back around. Uh, 
Uh, there's, I'm up on a hill. I can't see if he's turning around or not. There's two of them. You guys stay with me. Well, y'all stay with me till I make it back to my vehicle because uh, I don't know that these people are done with me yet. Like I said, there's been mixed results here in the past. Um, at least one, at least one officer went hands-on with a photographer out here. That has happened. And you can see in the far distance, you see the power plant over there? See the power plant in the distance? And they're expanding that as well. If you, when we get, when, when this goes to uh, regular video, you can go back to the start and you'll see where they're expanding that too. And this is the visitor's gate. You know, I had that NSA policeman out here. I should have asked him about, you know, what are the requirements to do a, to do a visit? I'll have to check into that. I might actually come up here and, uh, you know, if they allow tourists in there to, to see the place, I, you know, I'd, I'd love to come and tour this place. Like I was saying, the gardeners that cut the grass here have to get security clearances and, and like FBI background checks. It, it, it's crazy. But, uh, yeah, I kind of wonder about that. They, they say they have a visitor center. I wonder if that means it's open for, um, you know, for people to come and visit or if it's just for, like, potential employees or, you know, something like that. Somebody want to Google that real quick? Oh, here comes SAPD again. There's two of them on the inside of the uh, facility. One of them, two. There's three of them, and two of them are coming out. See if they come this way. Uh. Okay. Looks like they both went the other direction. That's good. So maybe maybe SAPD is uh, getting a handle. Oh no, one of them went the other way. There's two of them. You can see here's two of them over here and they're with their what they call security forces or security team those brown trucks you see over there are government issue usually it's homeland security or fbi something like that they all kind of look alike you know the the government buys like say a hundred ford f-150 xls and they're all equipped exactly the same except for the color the color will vary So when you see them, they're, they're kind of easy to spot. And they have a specific type of camper that they put on the back of them when they need to like have the back area for storage. There's a, a very specific type of camp, camper that they use for that. I hope you can see all the cameras, but if you look at each black pole, there's a camera on it pointing in a different direction. It's hard to see here. Zoom in just a little bit. And of course the building's got cameras on every single corner and I'm sure at every single door. I mean, come on, it's the National Security Agency. They're gonna want cameras on anything and everything, but that's the government in general. I mean, if you go to like a federal courthouse, You'll find cameras everywhere. You'll find cameras everywhere but the bathroom. And I'm not convinced there's not cameras in there. Or at least microphones. A lot of military guys out here in uniform. So, you know, San Antonio has... Uh, I think three military bases. They've got two Air Force bases and one Army hospital. Um, Lackland, Elgin are the Air Force bases and the Army hospital is, man, I can't remember the name of it. I mean, when I was in the Army, it was the one everybody wanted to go to because it was so kicked back. 
relaxed, you know, and plus you'd be in San Antonio just, and for me, that would have been a couple hours from home. Looking, looking over my shoulder, see if anybody's back there. There's not. Uh, thank you, Bobby. All you guys, I'm, I'm, I, it's hard for me to see the screen between my old eyes and uh, having to hold the phone close to my face so you can hear me and the sun and my hat. You know, all these things are contributing to me not being able to read the comments. So I apologize if, you've, uh, if you threw me some change. I appreciate it. Uh, everybody that's here watching, you know, making sure I'm safe. I appreciate you coming out, taking a minute to look over my shoulder. And I think it's kind of funny, you know, always before, I don't recall the NSA police ever coming out and bothering anybody or saying anything to anybody. They always used uh, San Antonio PD. So that's, that was kind of different. Maybe SAPD has been told hands off. I believe that one person has filed a lawsuit uh, because when they were out here, SAPD harassed them and arrested them for, I, don't, I think it was crossing, crossing against a light or something, even though it was a non-controlled uh, crosswalk. And of course that was dropped instantly and the DA told them to return him to his vehicle. And I, I believe he may have sued or something and that may be why SAPD is kind of backed off. You know, then again, something else we see is you come out here one day, they behave one way, come another day and they're completely different. So maybe we're getting a taste of that. Maybe the night crew is, uh, all the tyrants have been moved to the night crew. Never know, never know, never know. Oh, I gotta hurry back. I've got a, I'm still a mile from my vehicle. So it's quite a walk, I'm trying to hurry. It's actually, the temperatures out here are actually kind of decent. It's, uh, because it's so overcast and rainy, but uh, the rain's gonna catch up with me in a minute. I've been, uh, I've been on the road for about four hours this morning and it's, it's nothing but rain all morning. And then uh, right outside of San Antonio, the rain quit. So I'm like, heck yeah. I got a place I've been wanting to visit. There's my cue. Man, San Antonio has grown so much since the first time I was here. Oh, uh, Sean, if you're seeing this, I got I got somebody in San Antonio. Sean, if you're seeing this, uh, oh, hold hold on, here comes SAPD again. Oh, he just waved and kept going. Okay, good. Sean, if you're seeing this and you got time for a uh, quick lunch, give me a holler. Uh, just give me a text. Don't call. Just text me. Uh, uh, Ruby, I'll text you shortly. And uh, everybody else here in San Antonio already knows what's up. See, now the sidewalk is non-continuous on the other side there so i'm not going to use that sidewalk i'm going to go right back down the way i came which may upset them but it's a continuous safe sidewalk and it's uh once i get on that road over there there's not as much noise oh man i got to get out more this walking is killing me Get out more and I've got to lose some weight. I started swimming, but uh, 
it hadn't done much good yet. Nothing happening today. Andrew says, yeah, he got the same problem. <laughs> Don't say nothing happening today. By the time you say that, something happens. That's uh, frequently how it works out for me. Okay, we got the walk sign. I think nothing's happening. I go to leave. And as I'm leaving, here it comes. It, you know, something kicks off. So it's never safe until you're out of the area, not just back at your vehicle, but physically out of the area. So I will stay live until I'm in my vehicle and moving uh, just to ensure that there's no issue come up. Hey, somebody else got a route. That's an older route. Listen to that coyote howl. Oh, hey, Brian, I see you. News now, David, what? <laughs> Come on, Breeze. Keep that wind blowing. Yeah, I seen more cameras up here on the pole to the left. They're on they're on like every other pole. So I you know, with all the cameras they have around here, and you got this nice fence, and there's the fence itself has uh sensors in it, so if you try to climb the fence, it'll trigger trigger an alarm. I mean if I just walked up there and shake it, which I am not gonna do, no matter how much super chat money you send me, I am not gonna go touch that fence. But if you shake the fence, it triggers an alarm and they'll send out the guards over here. I am not, not going to intentionally provoke that. And then as you, if you look at that fence carefully, you'll see it's lined with uh, steel cable, like uh, one inch steel cable. That's to keep people from plowing through it. You could probably, if you had a, the right vehicle, you could still get through it, but it would be difficult. The average vehicle is not going to penetrate that fence. So they've got good security and everything that's going on here goes on inside the buildings. So there's, there's really nothing to get out here. So I don't understand their purpose for harassing people out here on the sidewalk. It's senseless. There's no reason for it. Other than the government wanting to be, you know, tyrannical government employees. What's the old adage about power corrupt? You know, these people, they got a little authority and a little power and rather than, uh, you know, be moderate and considerate and thankful that they have a, you know, a good job or a good position. Because a lot of these guys here that work here are military and uh, this is the career path to promotion right here, guys. If you're in the military and you're looking to get promoted, hit the NSA because that's a... That's a direct line to the Pentagon. But everything that happens in there is happening where you can't see it, you can't hear it, you can't get pictures of it. So harassing people on this public sidewalk is pointless. It's just, it's an abuse of power is what it is. And uh, the activities I've seen previously of San Antonio Police Department out here harassing photographers, that, that's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. It should not be happening. But it's just like it's just like Shell in Deer Park with the off-duty Harris County deputies. You know, when they arrested me, that deputy had nothing to arrest me for. But the, the Shell security guy said, arrest him. That deputy's getting $100 an hour to sit on his tail and do nothing. He don't want to lose that job. So he lies to the DA, you know, fabricates charges. You know, and he had to know that the video would show that he had lied. But he lied anyway. Did he get Brady listed? Nope. You know what he got? He got promoted. He got promoted because he managed to arrest uh, one of those First Amendment guys. And, of course, the charges got dropped. As soon as the DA saw the video, the DA is like, you're kidding me. But, you know... We need to be Brady listing these cops 
and and a police officer that's Brady listed cannot testify in court. So what good is he? If you've been Brady listed, you shouldn't be a cop anymore. That that should cost you your license. You can't even be a jailer because we can't trust you to tell the truth of, you know, if there was an incident in the jail. So that should, you know, being Brady listed should end your your law enforcement career. And that's one way to start weeding out the bad cops. As long as we keep letting them do what they do, they're just going to continue to do it. So you should be pressing your local district attorney, whoever it may be, you should be pressing them to Brady list these cops. And then you should be, pre here comes San Antonio PD again. You should be pressing your, your, uh, um, police chiefs of police and your sheriff to not hire anyone who's Brady listed. If they, I don't care what county they're Brady listed in, because that's what a lot of them will do. The gypsy cops will run to another jurisdiction to try and work. If you're Brady listed anywhere, you should be Brady listed everywhere. Because just because you move from Houston to Dallas doesn't mean you're going to tell the truth. If you were lying in Houston, you're going to be lying in Dallas. And speaking of San Antonio, <laughs> speaking of San Antonio, the Bear County Sheriff's Department narcotics unit has been caught dirty. You remember what was going on in Houston with the Tuttles, the couple that was murdered in their house by the nar narcotics raid team? Same thing happening here in San Antonio. Exact same thing. And the sheriff was made aware of it and did nothing. Did absolutely nothing. Well, now it's come to light. And uh, we've got some local people here that are victims. Let's see, we're still going here. There we go. Two of them have been released from prison with uh, uh, judge orders of actual innocence. They're out on, I guess they're on bond right now while their, their case goes to a higher court for review, but the judge has granted them actual innocence. Um, and they all involve the same confidential informant. They all involve the same sheriff's narcotics deputies. And, uh, you know, once again, we've got crooked cops out here ruining people's lives and nothing's happening to them. The sheriff was made aware of this and did nothing. And the confidential informant is still working. I've got his names. I've got photographs of him. And I'm going to be publishing all that stuff. I mean, it, it, luckily, nobody's gotten killed over it. But I know at least two people that uh, spent a couple years in prison because of these crooked cops. And there's more. You know, they're just now starting to look at the things. So you know there's more. They found two right off the top. I'll bet there's 20. That confidential informant should be jailed. Those deputies should be uh, uh, charged and jailed as well. Because they gave false testimony and false evidence at those people's trials. Created false affidavits. All the security police, the NSA police, are right over here to keep an eye on me. But, uh, you know, it, it's unacceptable. And the only reason these people can continue to do this stuff is because prosecutors aren't stepping up and doing their jobs. And it's not just happening in San Antonio or Houston. As the, as the police have to get their numbers up and keep their numbers up, it's happening everywhere. Art Acevedo lied. He said that, that uh, in Houston, hold on, I gotta hit the button. He said that in Houston that there was just that one bad narcotics team. Okay, I've got a narc on the inside, and he said that what those, what Goins, Bryant, and all that team were doing, he said that is common practice throughout the division. Everybody's doing it. Because if they don't get the busts and arrests, then they lose their cushy position. 
lose that fancy undercover car, might have to go work in the jail, might have to, to go on patrol and be productive. They don't want that. You know, they get to ride around in, in nice sports cars and play all night and get paid for it. They'll lose those positions. So they have to fabricate arrests because they can't make enough to justify what they're doing and how many of them there are. All right, I'm almost back to, to the vehicle. Y'all give me another five minutes or so. I don't see where that NSA guy went. NSA police. So all in all, that wasn't too bad. The NSA cop was, you know, he, he came out kind of aggressive and was lying at first. But, you know, when I called him on it, he realized I knew what I was talking about. He, he left it alone. So wasn't great, but uh, wasn't bad either. Uh, at least SAPD stayed out of it, which is what they should be doing. NSA just pays SAPD to work a second job off duty. And, uh, you know, off the reservation, SAPD should be handling the situation because they have the authority. These other guys... Um, are not going to have any authority outside the boundaries of uh, the NSA facility. But uh, the expansion here is unbelievable. They are doubling, if not tripling, the size of that facility. That is just absolutely crazy. Y'all like my new truck? That Sierra right there? Ha ha, ha ha, NSA, I'm only kidding. It's not my truck. <laughs> ah. I am actually in White Lightning. And it's a little messy in here. Sorry guys, let me get in here and get going. Oh crap. One thing I have not yet gotten used to is that big ass hat and uh, getting in and out of a vehicle with it is not that easy. Let me get this power plugged in. So we got Oh, give me some air conditioning. Now, I actually don't even see anybody following me. I'm surprised. <sighs> Get a drink and then we're going to roll. Yeah, maybe could be that uh, the night crew out here is just bored. So when they get somebody out here, they want to play with them. Because, uh, I mean, the day crew really wasn't that bad. Like I said, SAPD behaved. Um, they were the ones I was worried about more than anybody else. Uh, because they have been violent in the past. But uh, they, they seem to do okay that time. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. If anything help, else kicks off, um, I'll go live again. Meantime, I'm going to go to that second de destination we were talking about, that other destination. And uh, if the rain holds off, I will go do, it, go do a visit there. So thanks, guys, for jumping on here and uh, watching out for me. I will uh, see you again soon. Oh, and guess what? I've still got some other places to stop if the rain holds out. Bye, y'all.